The Bible says, And his brethren envied him, but his father observed the saying. In this passage, Joseph explains his dreams to his brothers, and they are envious over the fact that Joseph one day would rule over them. They are jealous over the fact and envious over the fact that Joseph, their youngest brother, would rule over them. My, how pride and envy can destroy a family. Job 5.2 says, For wrath killeth the foolish man, and envy slayeth the silly one. Our envy, our thoughts inside our head that others have it better than us, or that we want what others have, is slaying us. It is killing us daily. Psalms 37 1 says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. And that's exactly what Asaph did in Psalm 73. I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. And he thought about how the wicked, it seems like they have no problems, no troubles. They live long and healthy lives and then they die with no problems or issues, but those who follow God seem to be in constant sorrow all the day. But then Asaph went into the sanctuary of God, and he understood their end. Brother or sister today, if you are envious of what somebody has, especially of what the world has, consider their end. If you feel like God won't let you have something, consider the end of the wicked. The Bible says in Proverbs 14:30, a sound heart is the life of the flesh, but envy the rottenness of the bones. Envy will rotten your bones, it will kill you. But we should do as Proverbs 23:17 says, let not thine heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. Brother or sister today, replace that envy with the fear of the Lord today.